Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Chopbox News. Today, we've got another trailer reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to the D&D &D movie, which is beyond me because I honestly didn't think they were going to make a movie off of this whole entire type of game. Um, I do know about D&D. &D. I do watch a lot of D&D. Only because of the fact that I can't play it. I don't have friends to play it. Sadly, I know it sucks. I never got to play the game. I really want to. So I just watched Dimension 20. It's another channel on YouTube. I watch a lot of their videos and a lot of other people's videos, especially world building and diaphragms and all that. So I'm always into tabletop gaming. I love tabletop gaming and I would love to get into it with some friends for once, but I can't. So I do know what the whole gist of the movie is and what it's supposed to mimic and stuff like that. So I know what to look for here and there. Um, I'm not a crazy know-it-all when it comes to each and every class, especially other items that are really well known. Um, I'm preferably someone that if I had a campaign, I like to just come up with things as we go. Obviously, we have the main classes and stuff that um, everybody uses, but I like to make up stuff as we go mo more so. But aside from that, like I said, we're going to be getting into this, and I am going to be starting some trailer reactions every now and then. That way, we have a little bit of diversity between the anime reactions as well as real show reactions. I want to make sure that we have a little bit of everything for everyone when they come to the channel, so that way it's a little more open to people because I feel like... Like, if I just react to one show, I'm just going to be limiting it, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to do this, throw these in along with the regular anime reactions, and see how it goes. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Maybe we'll break it down. I have no idea because, again, I don't know what this is going to be like. This is my first time watching this trailer. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And if you guys are new, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe below, and stay notified for more trailer reactions like this one. And with that said, let's react to this trailer. Honor among thieves. Here's the thing. We're Here's the thing. Of thieves. Okay. And when you do this. So far, already, to make this looks pretty good. The graphics look pretty good. Sometimes those enemies come looking Landscapes for Landscapes look good. Okay. That's actually pretty sick. Freaking dragon that's spewing. What is that? Dirt or something? I don't even know. It's all battle, though. That looks sick. Truth Ooh, be the told, music might be copyright though. I, I might have to the wrong person steal the wrong change thing. this. Ever uh, figure it out over a drink. Probably best. You <laughs> That's how players be, bro. I swear. You got this right. I know you don't. Okay, ooh, okay. That's sick. Oh, that's sick. Magic. I like magic a lot. And they even got like half humans and stuff, hybrids. Okay. What is that? Oh, is that an owl bear? What is that again? Yo! Yo! I remember seeing that from Dimension 20. He's on our side. <laughs> oh, the mimic. But whatever happens. Oh, this looks good. It's like manticores, mimics, dragons. This is what I like. Oh, look at that. That looks good. I'm not even gonna lie. That looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. What's it exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. Is she a plans? satyr? I think. You've already made right? the plan, so. If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not really. So he's a bard? Okay, so he's a bard. I think it's a sat satyr or sat satyr. So that is the trailer. Obviously, as you can tell from my reaction, I'm hyped for this too, man. Like, this not only looks good, but like just coming from watching DD &D and you know messing with it a little bit obviously i haven't played it i said that before it's freaking awesome to see these references because even i get them and i haven't even played the actual like i haven't played a single campaign in my whole entire life and even i recognize this the owl bear thing that is so funny and sick at the same time because not only do i know about the owl bear being a you know repetitive thing amongst D, &D players but 
I remember like literally seeing it from Dimension 20's channel, which if you watch Dimension 20, the high school, the whole high school campaign that they had, I watched that whole entire campaign. That was super sick. And that reminded me straight of that campaign because there was a fight when they were like in a field and they were fighting an owl bear because that's basically like the um, mascot for the school. And like I said, I like how they're having a lot of different creatures and magic and stuff like that because I, for one, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a huge huge sucker for magic or anything fantasy i'm a sucker for so just seeing all that in this trailer already makes me hype you got dragons you got owl bears you got orcs you got sorcerers you got all kinds of crap literally the whole nine yards manticores man like all kinds of crap so that already looks sick the landscape amazing the cg amazing and i also like how the actual actors are acting like players instead of like acting cheesy like themselves you know what i mean let's break it down real quick let's go back let's go slide by slide nothing too intricate like the lord of the rings but we're gonna take a look at what we miss or maybe what we can see here because there was a lot happening in that trailer so let us do that real quick so obviously in the first frame here we have a whole whole ocean which mind you this looks beautiful i don't know if this is a mix of i mean obviously it's got to be a mix of it i think it might be a mix of cg and real like landscape and if that's the case that's sick even if it's just cg it still looks freaking awesome to me then you got this part this town you know it's like um uh, i don't really know what i get from it. i get like middle eastern vibes or something like that but it's like a bazaar like a bazaar bazaar whatever you want to call it that's what this looks like you got people running away so they're probably going towards some enemies in this scene um you got an axe here so maybe we have a viking or a warrior class and then we have a bard here for sure and a satyr for sure and then i think don't quote me i haven't seen this guy yet but he might be a sorcerer and then this scene specifically looks sick it looks like an elden ring level like it looks so freaking clean the lava and the freaking chains just hanging this all together like it looks so awesome i like how they're portraying the environments and how there's di diversity between the environments it's very very nice and then obviously we have some orc statues it looks like because they got the pointed ears or maybe elf statues but they look too chunky to be elves so i'm not too sure about that so they get this helmet here and then later on we can see that someone uses this helmet and it has magical power so this is an artifact of some sort and then obviously we got the town again this is from the inner uh side so looks pretty cool reminds me kind of like arcane in a way then we got a whole battle sequence here which was absolutely sick like this whole entire sequence of this dragon just coming in like this dragon looks so sick and i don't know what it's shooting out of its mouth it looks like rocks or dirt or charcoal or something like that or maybe hot oil i have no idea but it looks sick and you have orcs all over the place all kinds of things orcs vikings all kinds of freaking people battling here which looks awesome so that alone already catches my attention i love large scale battles like that we get this horn which i'm not too entirely sure what the horn is uh per se because like i said i'm not a know-it-all when it comes to artifacts that are within the game or the campaign itself so i'm not really familiar with this whole entire horn type of thing but as we can see here this is clearly a woman and they said they stole that for the wrong person so they must have stole it from maybe the underworld or something i have no idea but then we get this which this is a different person this is a guy which has the get up like he's trying to be palpatine man and he's over here looking like a sith lord he's holding the horn up which must mean it has crazy power and um he has a whole army in front of him here and as you can see here when we look at his face very vaguely very very vaguely and i know this sounds so cheesy and cliche to say because stranger things but it looks like vecna and for people that don't know stranger things got that from dnd &D, okay vecna was never a stranger's thing original thing like it was from dnd &D, so this does look almost like him in a way and if that's the case that'd be interesting to see him again because he's got like the blood coming out of here which kind of reminds you of vegna and his face looks like a ghoul so i'm not too sure there right here we see that she stops the arrow so she has to have some sort of spell to do that 
I don't know what it could be. And then we get this shot, which looks pretty nice. It's in the woods. It's got the red moss and stuff. That looks pretty sick. And as you can see here, which people probably haven't caught, there is a red spider on the right hand side on that tree which looks pretty interesting because that tells me that in this whole entire area they're probably gonna have a fight sequence or something between spiders maybe and if that's the case that'd be pretty sick because these spiders obviously are red and this stuff around there is red so maybe that's the case and then here is another breathtaking shot in my opinion i don't care if it's cg or not I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure it's CG, but it looks awesome because it's just, it looks like it's a real landscape, like all these snow pits and stuff. It looks amazing. And the rocks, how jagged they are. Same here. This reminds me of like Norway or freaking Ireland and stuff. Like this looks amazing or Scandinavia. This looks like Scandinavia to me more so. And it looks awesome because the landscape just looks so real yet. I don't think it's real. That's the thing. So I that already tells me that at least we don't have to worry about graphical issues, hopefully. But pertaining to the actual video or trailer, we have a statue here that broke down. Um, and we have the rest of the statue here. It looks like he's holding kind of like a sword, maybe. And um, someone probably broke that down for whatever reason. So some old champion or something of the sort. We get this cool shot, which she's, I guess, forging an axe, I could say. Either she's forging an axe or her freaking axe is made of lava or something like that. But it looks like it's being forged, maybe. Um, that's a cool shot alone, too. I'd like that. Um, then we got her fighting here. A little fight sequence. Bodying these people. Oh, my God. And then this guy, which looks like some sort of Dark Lord. I don't know what class he is, again. Because his, his thing... Oh, he's probably a paladin. Now that I think about it. But... It's weird because his sword glows, which the only class that reminds me of that is a paladin when their sword glows. His sword also launches off of this dagger thing and just freaking impales this guy and he has a dagger behind it. And then this guy's using the crown that we were talking about earlier that they picked up that has magical power. So I don't really know what that does, but as you can see, he uses it on like three or four guys here and they just go flying and that thing echoes throughout the whole entire freaking neighborhood or <laughs> not neighborhood the whole village if you will and then the owl bear which was absolutely awesome to see that alone made up for the whole entire trailer like it's amazing to see this this whole sequence awesome 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 i love seeing that and as you saw that guy flew behind and then we see that actually that's the satyr or druid maybe even now. I don't even know if it's a druid or satyr, but since they have the horns on the freaking top of their head, I thought it was a satyr. But I guess maybe it might be a druid since they're changing into different things. We have this dragon that looks like it's made out of stone, kind of like a gargoyle, which is pretty sick. Maybe it is a gargoyle and I'm thinking it's a dragon, but it looks like a dragon. And then... We have this shot where the druid or satyr goes underground and upwards to another dimension. Then we got this cool shot. This looks sick. This is like a whole like, this reminds me of like Nakron. This is like a whole like underground city. And it looks amazing because not only does it look gloomy, but there's lights. So it tells you it is bustling. And then we have a freaking meteor coming from the sky from what looks like a sorceress because there's a girl with a red dress at the top there that's making meteors rain from the sky so maybe that's the case and then this guy blocks it so i guess he's a support type and then we have this maze it looks like so we're gonna get a maze sequence the mimic which oh oh my god the mimic looks sick in this whole entire trailer like it actually looks really 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 good for the cg that it has and i'm glad that they're adding that as well i'm glad they're adding a lot of og uh monsters and stuff like that and then here the manticore um which is pretty sick as well and as you can see they jump into what looks like maybe water or type of gel or something like that to escape him i don't really know what that is but they're obviously in a coliseum then we get them all fighting again they're throwing knives at this red lady which is the red lady we saw throwing asteroids down so that's the case with that so she's probably another main antagonist uh then we got this nice chunky boy this chunky dragon he's very chunky 
and uh, they're all running from him and at the end of the shot you can see that they actually go and attack him as you can see here which is an awesome shot the dragon cg looks amazing in this shot i really like this i'm a sucker for shots like this when they charge in on them so that alone is already like ah uh, ah uh. I have high hopes, let me just tell you that. So that's basically the trailer. We did a little bit of a breakdown. We watched the trailer for what it is and it's all its glory. It was absolutely amazing and I couldn't ask for any better. So hopefully this movie is good when it comes out. It comes out March, 2023. So we'll be seeing if it's good or not. Maybe, maybe, it's not for sure yet. Maybe I'll react to this movie and we'll do a movie reaction for the first time ever. I don't know, maybe we'll do that I don't know. It depends how I feel, depends the time it comes out, and it depends on the copyright that it has as well. So that's probably the plan that we're going to do. But overall, I did enjoy this trailer. Like I said, as you can already tell, I'm hyped for this. I like the OG creatures that they're bringing back. I like that they're making the actors act like actual players. I like all the CG. I like all the landscaping. Everything looks promising so far. If I had already, you already know it's going to be a 10 out of 10. This thing looks amazing, and I just can't wait to watch this either in theaters or even on the Paramount app if they release it on the app. They should. But overall, that is the trailer for D&D &D Honor Among Thieves. So if you guys are rated any differently and you want to see some more trailer reactions, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe below, and absolutely punch the hell out of that bell notification. Stay notified for more trailer reactions in the future. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next trailer. Peace.